This is Dr. Walters. Hi, Doctor. This is Gavin. Hi, Gavin. I'd ask you how you're doing, but the nurse says you have a pretty bad bug. What are your symptoms? <coughs> bad cough, sore throat, um, runny nose, headache, and <coughs> vomiting. <coughs> wow. Okay. Well, sounds like we need to get you in right away. Do you need emergency care? Uh, actually, I was hoping you could give me a doctor's note to pass along to my employer. I wouldn't want to get anyone in your office sick. Oh, I couldn't do that without seeing you in person first. You can't give me anything remotely? Well, no, I... Uh, that's fine. I I'll take time on that. One missed call from Veronica, and one new message. Just checking to see where you are. Meeting starts in five minutes, and I don't see you anywhere. Get here ASAP. Call mom. Hello? Hi, mom. Weird question. Um, but has anyone in our family died recently? What? No, I haven't heard of any deaths in the family. <sighs> that stinks. Are you feeling all right? Sometimes I worry about you alone in that big house. Yep. Everything's peachy. Is your boss pushing you too hard again? Who, Veronica? Nah, she's great. She'd never push me to do anything unethical. Are you okay? I mean, really, what, what's going on? Hey, I'm getting another call. I, I'll talk to you later. Okay. I love... One missed call from Veronica, and one new message. Gavin, this is Veronica. Where are you? The meeting just started. Farms to Mutual won't sign the contract without those documents in hand. If this deal dies because of you, your job is toast. Do you hear me? Toast. Call Dan. Hi, this is Dan. Hi, Pastor Dan. This is Gavin Johnson. Um, it's been a few years, so I'm sure you don't remember me. Uh, of course I remember you. It's been a while since we've seen you around here. Yeah. So, the reason I called, um is that I, I have a problem. I haven't been to church in a while because I just got this really good job and um, it's taken up a lot of my time. And I bought a lot of stuff. Not sure how that ties in. But um, I'm working this really big project and my boss may or may not want me to do some unethical things in order to close the deal. If I don't, I'll get fired. I'm sure I'll lose my car and my house and my self-esteem and my credit score and- uh, Let's stop right there. What are you wanting me to do for you, Gavin? What am I supposed to do? It says in Galatians 6, For he that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Okay. It also says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Yeah. Gavin, God wants us to do what's right in spite of our circumstances. I think the real question is, which road are you going to take? Thanks for talking to me. One missed call from Veronica, and one new message. Gavin, where are you? If you don't show up, more will blow up than this deal. Call Veronica. Where are you? 
I'm sitting in my car in my driveway. So, um, you know how you asked me to tweak the dates on those three-year-old inspection reports uh, for Farmstead Mutual? Yeah, I asked you to make one small change. Oh, well, it may seem like a small change to you, but it's, it seems a smidge dishonest to be changing dates on reports that will affect our contract. Just are you to bring documents to me, or are you going to be a zip recruiter result tomorrow? Well? Hello? I can't do that. Then you're fired. Come in tomorrow to get your stuff. You'll never work in this field again. Yeah. Mom? Gavin, are you sure you're all right? I'm all right, Mom. I'm all right. <laughs>